What's up, Wargamers? We are back, and we are ready to kick it off for our push to 1,000 subscribers. We are less than 40 subscribers away, so we're going to go ahead and update our giveaway and kick that off officially. So if you want to get in on our 1,000 subscriber giveaway, make sure you post in the comments below 1,000 subscriber giveaway or something to that effect. Let me know that you are actually wanting to get put in the drawing, and then I'll enter your name from now until we hit a thousand subscribers, any video I create, this one included, you'll get one entry per video for each one that you're able to comment something like that in. And it'll be on you in the future videos to remember to comment that. And then we'll give that video, give that away in a future video using one of the randomizers. So if, let's say I make two more videos or three more videos and you comment in each one of those, you get two, three entries. If this is the only video it takes and somehow I magically hit a thousand subscribers between now and my next video, which could be days away, that means that this is your only chance to be able to do it. So comment below, let's get excited. And here's what we're gonna give away. So before I had taken a little bit of a hiatus, um, not a complete hiatus because I posted irregularly over the last few months. That is getting ready to change because I'm actually quitting my day job and not because of YouTube, so yeah, it's not because once you hit a thousand subscribers all of a sudden magically you can fund your, your hobby and fund your life. It won't, it won't even fund my hobby, but it's because some of my other projects of video creation and some of that that has been paying the bills in a good way is coming to an end. Um, so I took an evaluation of the 80-20 rule. I found out where I was spending 80% of my time and that was producing a minimal amount of my results. So I was able to cut that out, and now I have a lot more time available just for you guys, um, wink, wink, uh, but mainly for hobby. So I've got a ton of stuff going here on the hobby table. If you remember from a couple videos ago, I'm working aggressively on my all-night Armiger list. Um, I've got it sitting here. It's in various stages. Let me go ahead and mess with the camera. It is in various stages. Yeah, this is what my hobby table tends to look like. I've got my painting cart over here, which is an IKEA cart dedicated completely three tiers to different glues and paints. Um, I'm crazy. And right now I've got six Armigers on the tabletop um, getting ready to be built. I've also got for my Adeptus Mechanicus, I've been working on my Belisarius Call. I've got him just really with base colors down now, not really in a state of painting, but this is so much further along than I've been in a long period of time. My Super Mike, my Dollar Store um, Halloween cup from years ago that I use as my painting mug. Um, not something to be drank, but right now I've got four of the war glaives on the tabletop, two helverins, and I've got a heck of a lot more to build. I've got boxes. I've got boxes full of helverins, and I still got to put these guys together. Boxes full of armigers. Um, so what what's in my hobby world? I want to get into some of the new news and some of the topics, but I want to get you guys caught up. For those that are hardcore um, budget war gamer followers, I know there's a few of you out there. I really appreciate it. Goblins are coming, man. So not only is this going to be October for Warhammer 40k, we're going to see Speed Freaks come about, which is going to be exciting. Definitely going to get my hands on that. I want to get some War Buggies. I want to be all about that. Uh, I may even actually be interested in the game itself, Speed Freaks. And if you want to get into why Games Workshop releases all these models, all these test models, especially as standalone games, it's tax purposes. Um, I was asked that by a, a local store owner, and he says, I don't know why everything comes out comes out in Forge Bane to release these Helverins. Why does it come out in Kill Team? Why does it come out in this? Because, at least in the United States, and I assume the, the UK follows suit, that for tax purposes, if you enter into any type of new business, you're able to write off pretty much any expense that goes into that as a write-off for it. But it's different if you are doing it as an expansion of an existing form of business. Plus, it also gives you a great reason to be able to bundle things together, right? Forge Bane was 160 bucks. Um, Adeptus Titanicus was not 160 bucks. Um, that was a little bit pricier, but that allows you guys to bundle it up. But it gets us like crack addicts to be addicted. So I here's what I'm into. Here's my quick hobby update, and then we'll kind of dive into what's going on. So I've got that going on literally on the tabletop here. I've got assembling, I've got painting, and I'll have to do a painting video on how to paint Helverins very effectively because I'd say about 60% of the paint job on those, maybe even 75% of the paint job on them, um, is rattle can. So they, they're beautiful. Don't believe me? Well... This was the sprue. It wasn't a red plastic model. This came, you know, all gray like this. And then I'm busting the, the armor out on rattle can using $3.96 Rust-Oleum uh, that I picked up. 
And then same thing with the metal. So the metal on these guys, so I've got, I've been painting the, the armor plate separately. I've been painting the bodies and that's done with uh, black spray and a, and a lead um, spray. Um, something like flat iron, something like that. And then some dry brushing and things. But I've also picked up Kill Team. I've picked up the Kill Team expansion. I've picked up Adeptus Titanicus. And I've picked up the um, the Titan expansion. So I've got a lot going on. I'm, I've got to expand this. I put art on the wall. So thanks for bearing with my rant here. I'm just really trying to catch you guys up. But that's kind of that. So, so far I've got um, some frames up there from Joann's with my art in there from Adeptus Titanicus. Some of the other things. My uh, signed Alex Boyd Necron. I've got some original Alex Boyd art somewhere in the house that was in some of the campaign books from long ago. Uh, some of my prized possessions that I should know where it's at. But um, So let's dive in. Let's switch it up. Without further ado, this is Budget Wargamer. And let's go into... I am rusty behind the wheels here. There we go. So bear with me. Now this is news to me. Did you guys know that Games Workshop was releasing a mobile app? And it's related to Warhammer Age of Sigmar, which is insane. So right before this video, I encountered this when I went to gamesworkshop.com. There you are. And I went ahead and I downloaded it. So that's new to me. I'm going to check out Realm of War or Realm Wars and see what that's all about. And you could download it for free, apparently. It's probably going to be a freemium game where you have to pick up some dollar ads to get bonuses in there. Uh, Beastmen are coming out, and Beastmen are... I'm a fan of Beastmen, so the fact that there's a Herdstone coming out is weird. It's kind of a cool model. Um, there's spells coming out, but they're also releasing a new Get Started Beastmen box, which is going to be good because I actually didn't have my Beastmen army fully fleshed out, and I'm going to need to. Um, in terms of Kill Team, these guys are insane. Where did I even put those guys at? Oh, down on the ground. So, hang on a second. Yeah, I also got into Lord of the Rings, and I was going to do the Easterlings, but ended up picking up the uh, the the Mumak of Harad, and I'm going to end up doing those guys. So these these guys here, these guys are insane, and I'm, I'm using the wrong camera. Hang on a second. Here we go. So if you haven't picked up Kill Team, these new models, the Nurgle models are awesome, and the Elucidian Star Striders, whatever you want to call these guys. These are fantastic models, like fully impressive. I think a lot of people probably hope that those are going to be released as a standalone army. And then just to help legitimize it, you do get a codex for the Elucidian Star Striders and you get a codex for the Geller Pox that are in there, the Nurgle guys, and they come with stratagems. So you can actually use these as a detachment, but it's really just one unit. There's not a whole lot you can really do. It's Niche's squad. And that's kind of it. Um, you get some of the characters, the Death Cult Assassin, some stratagems for their specific use. But So here's, here's my big prediction. So not only are orcs coming out in my, my massive rant, but orcs and goblins are coming out for Age of Sigmar. And here's why I think so. So if we go over to Fayette 2012, we saw it coming where I saw a preview of a goblins character for this um, Shadespire. And if you're not into Shadespire... I think it's worth picking up the, the core game for 60 bucks, But we've got Zarbag's Gits coming out. So we know that there are some goblins coming out. What I don't know is what are the Eyes of Nine? They look like to be some kind of chaos-possessed army. And I'm not sure if that's Slaneshi, but it's kind of hard to tell here. They're pro are they Nurgle? It, it's just tough to tell. But that one is actually even me more surprised. But Zarbag's Gits, I bet you we're going to see a resurgence in Age of Sigmar. Of goblins, so we've seen the oryx come out. We've got a lot of different orcs that are out there. The new uh, Maul Crusher, things like that. But that's going to be a big one. So Shade Spire is coming out for pre-order this weekend. You pick it up next week, from my understanding. Let's go to the Games Workshop home. So download that, so you can get into Age of Sigmar. The Knight Preceptor is coming out. That's going to be an auto include if you're into allying any type of Imperial Knight with your army, because. It's going to include all of the Warden upgrades as well as the Knight Preceptor upgrades for free. So that means that that's why it's an auto include. $157, you're going to be able to pick up that model and play it as any of the Imperial Knights, um, aside from, of course, the Valiant and the Crusader. So there's Kill Team, and that gets us sort of caught up. And I'll have to give you an update on my Beasts of Chaos uh, army or my Beastman army when that time comes. But there's an awful lot going on. So. Um, comment below what type of hobby stuff you've got going on. I wish there was a way to share pictures, but if you got any links to some of your stuff, 
Let me know. I'll try to critique those in an upcoming video. But here's my plan moving forward with Budget Wargamer. So I'm expecting to be able to do a couple videos a week, two, three, four videos a week. Um, obviously, we should be heading quickly into YouTube monetization, which is going to be fantastic if we can get to a thousand. Uh, thanks to my loyal followers, we've been able to hit the hours watched requirement. So that's great. Here's what I'm going to give away because I guess I didn't get to this earlier in my hyper excited ADD rant is that we were going to give away a no, no fear and or the blood and thunder. But now that blood and thunder has kind of been replaced, there's a new one. There's Tempest of Souls, I believe is what it's called, which is like the $80, $85 Age of Sigmar starter box. I want to give that away if you're in Age of Sigmar. Thanks for following me for that updates. I will either give that away or I'll give away a other finger. There we go. A no, no fear starter set. So these are like the $80, $85 value and I will ship it to you. So as long as you don't live at like McMurdo Station in Antarctica and you live somewhere that's reasonable, I'll ship it to you. If it becomes unreasonable, I'll at least cover the box of goods and I'd ask you to pay the shipping. So let's just rule that out. If you live in the United States or Canada, I will ship it to you. If you live somewhere else in the world, still enter your name. Uh, I may I may just ask you to pay for shipping, which could be modest. Um, I don't know. Maybe you live somewhere in the Aleutian Islands or something like that off the coast of Alaska and it becomes crazy, but you're still technically in the US and you're gonna ding dong me for a few bucks there. But let's go ahead and let's check that game out. Comment below and we'll stay tuned for Budget Wargamer for some more videos because I am excited to kick this off coming into the new week.